Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi, this is the requested video of questions from 2010, October, November, variant 61, question 1. Anita make observations of the maximum temperature, which is given by small letter T, on 50 days. Okay, so that means the sample size is given as 50. We use small letter N to represent it. Her results are summarized by this and this okay where the t bar denotes the mean of the 50 observations okay find out the t bar and the standard deviation of the observations first we write down the info summation t 910 t minus t bar bracket square sum sum up all the value and x which is equals to x76. All right, so this is a common uh, questions of finding mean and standard division in our exam, but somehow this info given is not common. All right, so how do we find out the mean and standard deviations when you are given this info? Okay, let's have a look of the formula list given. Okay, this is the formula list given in the exam, which is called list MF19, all right? And it's meant for the exam paper 9709, right, which is here, 9709. Okay, for use from 2020 onwards. Okay, we quickly look for the formula for statistic and probability. All right, so this is where we get the formula for the statistic and probability. Now for ungrouped data, to find mean, we have this formula. So to find standard deviations, we have this or this. So most of the time in SM, you will be given the info about this summation x and summation x squared. Or you can find out these values by yourself. And hence, we will use this formula to calculate out the uh, mean and the standard deviations, all right? But for this particular questions, we have to use the first formula here in order to find out standard deviations. Okay. Now we go back to the question now. All right, let me write down the formula at the side first. For mean, in general, the formula is given as x bar equals to summation of x divided by n. For the standard deviations, we have this formula, sum of x minus x bar square divided by n. Or we have the second one, sum of x square over n minus the x bar square. All right, so in order to answer the question now, first we are going to find out the t bar, which is the mean of the 50 observations. So according to the general formula, it means we are going to use the sum of t divided by n. And hence, according to the info given, we have this and this to find out the mean is going to be 910 divided by 50. And use calculator, we can get the value to be 
18.2. All right, so the mean found. Okay, now second, we are going to find out the standard deviations. So like I said, in this case, in order to find out the standard deviation, we got to use this formula, which we can get it from the formula list, MF19, all right? So to find the standard deviations, according to this question, it has to be summations of T minus T bar bracket square divided by N. All right, so, and we have this info, 876, and the N is 50. So means we are taking 876 divided by 50, and we square root it, All right? Using calculator, we find out the answer to be 4.19. Keep to three significant figure. All right, so that will be the answer of the mean and the standard deviation for these particular questions. That's all for the video. See you then. Bye-bye. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions, and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help. Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>